the easier problem now? What is given to us? Remember the three parts of the percent change formula? Initial value, percent change, and then the final value. What is given to us? We did not have the initial value or the original value. So the first box is missing times one and then increases. So plus what is 6% in decimals? Point zero six. And what does that equal to? It equals to 318. How can we find N? How do you isolate N? You divide by one plus 0.06 on both sides, which is 318 over 1. 1. 1. 1.06. I'm going to grab my fabulous calculator and I will get 318 divided by 10.6 and I get 300. So the answer is C. 300 was my original amount. This is how powerful and helpful your percent formula, percent change formula can be. Original value plus one, plus or minus percent change gives you the final value. Let's see you in the next video. We'll be solving a more difficult percent change problem on the SAT.